Welcome to Prosper, Texas. And before we jump into showing you some real estate around this amazing city, we always gotta stop and get a little coffee first, right? So we're over here at 1418 Coffee. It might seem familiar to you if you checked out our Plano vlog tour. Uh, where they have a location over there as well. But otherwise, we're kind of in the older section of Prosper where everything kind of started up and we always like to kind of show you a little bit of the history of the area. But that's what we want to do today. Take you around Prosper, show you a couple of different homes, different price points, but also give you a good idea of everything that's happening in this town because it is growing at a massive rate and uh, people are busting out of Frisco and moving to Prosper since it's just right on the other side of the highway. So easy access to Frisco, Plano, McKinney, Allen, Salina, everything. Prosper will be the new centrally located hotspot and the sooner you buy property here, the better the investment for the long term, not just for your pocketbook, but for the family as well. So let's go in, grab a cup of coffee, and we'll get this thing started. All right, so make sure whenever you come over here, you talk to Matthew, he's the manager. Uh, all the pastries are made in-house, uh, which you love. That's what I love about these little coffee shops around town, the boutique coffee shops, you could say, unlike the chains, you really get some local homemade goodies that are always uh, pretty tasty, uh, right? I mean, just much better than what you find out there in those chain coffee shops. Uh, I would recommend picking up, I always like to pick up coffee. I still got my bag from actually Plano, but uh, they got some swag in here, lots of options, plenty of room if you wanted to come over here and do some work. So I highly recommend 1418 Coffee here in Old Town Prosper. All right, got the iced Americano. Now what we want to do is head to Old Town, downtown, you could say. Uh, we'll take you over to the newer parts of Prosper today as well and just show you a little bit around and then we'll go hit some neighborhoods, show you some real estate, and we're going to get into it, so let's go for a ride. Now you're going to see here as we pull out of 1418 coffee and just make a slight left turn right here and cross the street. We come right over in Old Town, Prosper. This is where things started up. There's a couple of a little shops, restaurants around here, some uh, boutique things to do. Let's see, uh, I don't know, a music shop right there. You've got on the left side, you've got the main city hall uh, right over there. That's a newer building. And then you have a lot of these historic buildings. Looks like these are getting remodeled over here. You've got the gin, which is a really cool breakfast and lunch spot we're gonna stop at later just to grab a, a quick bite. And over on this other side, they have a food truck park. So uh, if you wanna come out on Friday or Saturday night, then you can enjoy uh, some different options with the food truck park oh, right over here and they're building a lot right around here and developing this whole area so let's get out and kind of take a closer look. Now here in downtown Prosper just on the other side of the gin which the gin is probably the most popular spot down here you have a flower shop you've got gymnastics for the kids right over on the other side you have uh, wealth management if you need to get your finances in order. Uh, you've got the music shop. And then there's a couple of cool little shops over here. You got inappropriate trucker hats. Uh, you've got an art studio for the kids and an interior design company over here. So whenever you move in, maybe you can uh, work with them to uh, get your place decked out when you're ready to go. But there's some interesting stats I wanna share with you on Prosper. Prosper is rapidly expanding in just north of Frisco, around 45 minutes from Dallas and an hour from Fort Worth. It was established in 1876 as a rural community and named Prosper to signify hopes for success and growth. The railroad expansion happened in 1902 and that boosted the town's economy. It was incorporated as a town in 1914. It transitioned from agriculture to more of a diversified economy. Then Prosper experienced rapid growth and suburbanization. They invested in the infrastructure and the amenities and it continues to undergo ongoing development. It's known as a family-friendly environment and quality schools. The population of Prosper is 41,752. The city motto is small town, big heart. The growth rate has been 10.6 per year and this makes it the ninth fastest growing suburb in Dallas-Fort Worth and the projected build-out population 
is close to 72,000, although it will probably go far beyond that. Now, before we jump into some real estate, a lot of people are always asking about the schools and Prosper schools are second to none. So let's go and show you a couple of the high schools here. There's three main high schools that we're gonna feature. The third one was just finished and it was finished a year in advance, which really speaks to how they get things done here in Prosper and how quickly this whole community is growing. And by the way, my name is Levi Lassick. I'm with the Living in Dallas, Texas team. And if you're thinking about making that move to Dallas, feel free to reach out any way possible, call, text, email, or even a Zoom call. All of that information is in the description below. And by the way, leave me a comment if these types of videos are what you like to see, if this is helpful for you to get a good idea of the area, or if you live in Prosper now, let us know. Is there anything we left out or what are your favorite parts of Prosper? Now let's go check out some high schools. Now we're passing by, you got Prosper Chiropractic right over on the right side of us. You have the good old barber shop in that, probably who knows how old that building is. And this is what you're gonna see as you drive through Prosper. You're still gonna see a lot of green and open spaces. And it's gonna be, uh, it's a lot of a, a good country feel out here. I mean, you've got this older community out here on this side of town. And then of course, over on the other side where you have like uh, Star Trail and Winsong Ranch, then that's more of the newly developed side. And then also just down the road here, we have the Preston Shopping Center and the middle school is right there, which is massive. That's way bigger than my high school ever was. You've got a little bit more commercial, and we're only about a mile uh, from the high school, from Prosper High School, the first main high school here. And you can see there's still uh, some shops and buildings scattered throughout. There's the post office off to the left, but there's just a lot of gap and space in between because this is still a growing area. You've got Trails of Prosper right to the other side, uh, which is another nice neighborhood. You're gonna hit a stoplight and before you know it, we'll be over here at Prosper High School and Frontier Park, which is the main park here that uh, has a lot going on and we'll show you that. All right, so before we stop by the high school, we're gonna stop in this neighborhood, just cruise through it because this is just south of Prosper, or Prosper High School to give you a good idea of some of the homes in this neighborhood which is uh, not, not, really a, uh, not really a community that has a ton of amenities. And again, when people come to Prosper, they're thinking about Star Trail, they're thinking about Winsong Ranch, uh, these other communities with just massive amenities going on there. So this is something a little bit more low key, a little bit more, uh, I wouldn't say as established. This probably started about the same time as Winsong Ranch but I'm gonna show you what you can get for a million dollars over in this neighborhood, which is a pretty good size home. You can see as we're driving through here, they do have the community pool uh, going on over to the right. And that's probably the main attraction that's happening here. You can see, you can notice the trees, the growth of the trees. They're, they're looking like they're about uh, five years old again, because the homes in this area were probably built around 20, 15, 16, and 17. So as you can see here, we're passing by the community center or the park area with the playground and everything that's happening right here. Now this home we're driving by right now is listed at a million 49,000 here in this neighborhood. It's a six bedroom, five and a half bath. It's 4,525 square feet and it was just finished in 2023. So you got a new construction nestled in the middle of uh, a lot of these homes are probably about five to seven years old. So that's not a bad opportunity right there. Now it's a little bit higher on the price per square foot around $232, which there's another million dollar property listed in here for around $213 a square foot, but it was also built in 2017. So that should give you a good idea whether you're looking for new construction or maybe looking for something a little pre-existing, you're gonna find a little bit of a better deal on the pre-existing uh, just because people know that they're competing with new construction and it just depends on your taste. Do you want to you know, move into a pre-existing home, likely a one owner home in these neighborhoods or do you wanna go brand new construction you know, it's nice, fresh and clean right out of the box, right? <laughs> so those are the options here as well. Now let's head over to Prosper High School and Frontier Park. And 
here we are at Prosper High School, pulling in and you're about to see the scale of these schools here in the North Dallas area. They are absolutely massive. And here you are at Prosper High School, one of the top rated high schools in all of Dallas-Fort Worth gets an A-plus rating from Niche.com and top ratings from several other websites. It was built in 2009 and has about 3,800 students enrolled just in this location. Now the schools in Prosper, Texas are zoned for Prosper ISD and it contains three high schools and four middle schools. You have Prosper High School, Rock Hill High School, and Walnut Grove High School. The four middle schools are Rushing Middle School, Reynolds Middle School, Rogers Middle School, and Hayes Middle School. You have 15 elementary schools. The school district is ranked as top 2% school districts in the country, top 1% school districts in Texas, top 0.7% school districts for athletes in the country. It has 25,314 total students with a student to faculty ratio of around 16 to one. Prosper High School exemplifies excellence both on the field and in the classroom. From football and volleyball to water polo and color guard, there is an activity for everyone to pursue. This school has an A rating for academics from the Texas Tribune, boasting a 99.4% graduation rate and a 55% college readiness rate, surpassing the state average by 15%. Now as we're leaving Prosper High School, we're going to head over to Frontier Park, which is the main park area here in Prosper, the biggest one as well, and it's right next door to Prosper before we head over to the other two high schools to give you a look on that. And we'll show you around, so let's go check out Frontier Park. Hey bells. Oh. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you know, growing up in the country and now being here in Prosper, the old farmer's joke is, is anytime you see hay bells on the side of the road, you gotta yell, hey, cause everybody will be like, wait, wait, what's going on, what's going on? And you're like, hey, hey. I tell you what, that speed walk can really take a lot out of you, but you got lots of trails here at Frontier Park. This is Prosper's largest park with over 80 acres of land here for you to explore and have a great time at. Frontier Park features a massive outdoor sports complex with lighted fields. It includes 11 soccer fields, two synthetic turf multi-purpose fields, three synthetic turf baseball or softball fields, a five-plex of baseball and softball fields, five backstops, four batting cages, a lacrosse field, and also features a catch and release pond, a pedestrian bridge, a 1.7 mile long paved walking trail, playgrounds with different structures, a splash pad, and the unpaved trails. Here we are off of Preston Road, and Preston Road is also called 289, which is runs all the way down to downtown Dallas almost, uh, stops right in uptown. But you'll see here on Preston Road, this is where you're gonna find all your new construction. This is just one of the shopping centers. We're about to take you to the main brand new shopping center in Prosper, but you can get a good idea where you've got the grocery stores, orthodontics, I mean, title companies, uh, yogurt, all that good stuff right in these uh, strip malls that are gonna be placed throughout. But you're gonna find the newer stuff here along Preston Road. And now let's go check out the Gates of Prosper, one of the biggest commercial developments going on right here, still ongoing, but there's a lot happening. So let's go. Here we are at the Gates of Prosper, one of the largest commercial developments here. And this is what's spurring a lot of the growth right off of Preston Road and the tollway. They're now extending the tollway all the way up through Salina and past Salina. So as more of the completion of the tollway takes place, property values, commercial development, all of that is going to continue to go up. This is a pretty good investment if you're thinking about making a move here because you're at the front end of the development. There's plenty of population growth that's going to happen. There's plenty of commercial development that's going to happen. And as more and more corporations and companies move over to Frisco, you're just within 10 to 15 minutes to get over there where there's a lot going on over in Frisco as far as development as well. The Gates of Prosper is a massive 800 acre shopping center with over 100 stores. Some of the anchor stores include Walmart Supercenter, Field and Stream, 
Ulta Beauty, Old Navy, TJ Maxx, Burlington, and Panera Bread. There's also a number of smaller stores including restaurants, clothing boutiques, and specialty shops. The Gates of Prosper is a great place to find everything you need whether you're looking for groceries, clothes, or a new place to eat. It's also a great place to spend the day with the family and friends. Currently they are developing many more properties including the only Target that's going to be in Prosper if you even want to shop there anymore. And here we are at Rock Hill High School, finished in 2020 and located in Frisco, but mainly serves Prosper and McKinney. Opened in 2020 during the pandemic, so around a quarter of the initial students attended classes online at the start. It serves around 2,000 students at this point. It has 16 team sports. The average SAT score is around 1220. The average ACT score around 26. And it has a 15 to one student to teacher ratio. So my Dallas house, uh, I just Airbnb'd. It's almost 80% booked in the first month now and already covered that mortgage and taking $1,200 off the new mortgage, which was the whole goal. Of, well, the whole goal is to pay for both. Right. And you got a rental property too, right? Yeah, I do. It's small, but it um, pays the mortgage on my other property. So, <laughs> so we got to uh, we got to get some tiny homes out there on your uh, on your land. Oh, I agree. We've got uh, ten acres of undeveloped property in Blue Ridge, Texas. Road access. Um, you got some good sunsets out there. Oh yeah, we're even elevated up a little bit on top of the hills. So we get good sunrise, sunsets. It'd be a perfect spot to build five or six tiny homes. Could develop them each with their own nice little lot. Do they, have, do they have access? Do you have a you have pond out there, right? Yeah, we have a pond, and it'd be easy to just uh, bring a uh, bulldozer out, some sort of land developer, and have them just reshape the land in every you know desirable way that we could imagine. Put little ponds. And Can you catch anything in there? Uh, our ponds aren't stocked, but it's it's pretty common and easy to stock a tank and have your own fishing spot. And the longer you throw them back and catch and release, the bigger they get. By year. As long as you got to watch out for the turtles. If you keep the turtles out, the fish can grow. But if you get turtles, then they'll eat all the fish before they can grow big. How so. do turtles catch fish? <laughs> I, don't, I think they, they eat them when they're pretty small, like they're still oh. eggs and, and just developing little tadpoles. And they just stop them from ever growing. Gotcha. I was about to say, I couldn't see a turtle catching a fish. <laughs> And here we are at the Walnut Grove High School. Now I misspoke a little bit earlier. It's going to be completed in fall of 2023 and opening for that semester, which that is a year ahead of schedule. It was originally scheduled to open up in 2024, but you can see right behind me, it is massive. So they are building bigger and bigger and better schools here in Prosper. There's probably many more to come, but you won't miss out with any of the options that you have in Prosper for high schools. Walnut Grove High School will consist of a 530,000 square foot, two-story academic building and a 75,000 square foot multi-purpose facility. There will also be a 1,000 seat auditorium and a 2,200 seat sports arena. And this will be the third high school in Prosper. Now we're here at the Gin Restaurant, which is in downtown Old Prosper. And this opened up in 2001, whenever the town only had 3,000 residents. And it was pretty much uh, the only place for them to go around here uh, to grab a, a good bite to eat and a drink. The restaurant is now a popular spot for both locals and visitors alike. It's known for its delicious breakfast food, friendly service, and a lively atmosphere. The Gin is a piece of Prosper's past and present, and it's a place that will always be cherished by those who call prosper home all right so i had to test out the pizza here i got the southwest barbecue pizza with chicken on it and we got some buffalo chicken wings and then let me let me see that camera there alex let me see that uh let me i, I didn't even introduce alex <laughs> i didn't even introduce alex earlier uh who's our full-time videographer he's always behind the scenes but made the debut there yeah what's up man what would you get there this is a breakfast you can eat breakfast at all hours of the day um, yeah eggs over easy sourdough toast hash browns bacon perfect texas breakfast right there awesome so let's dig in now 
Now, before we head over to Star Trail to show you a little bit more of some real estate here in Prosper, uh, by the way, we crushed this. It was absolutely amazing. Alex loved breakfast for lunch. Uh, very good. The wings, spot on. We got the buffalo, a little bit of ranch, and the pizza. They homemade the crust here, just like flour, water, and salt, which is always very important to me. Less ingredients, the better. But uh, let me know. I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history of Prosper before we head over to the next neighborhood. But you have to let me know in the comments, is this something you're even interested in? Would you like to know a little bit more of the history of these towns? Or am I completely off base with going into that and you just want to stick to the real estate stuff? So in 1876, the county courts put up for sale the local land around here that was referred to as Rock Hill and Richland. As people began buying up the land, these two settlements began to expand, attracting more residents and building the foundation of what would become Prosper, Texas. Now, over the next 26 years, the development would continue to grow here until about 1902, whenever that's whenever the biggest change happened. The St. Louis and San Francisco Railroad. This railroad went right through the center of the two settlements and the decision was made to merge Rock Hill and Richland. This established a vital link between Dallas and Sherman with the town that would be Prosper positioned as a central stop along the railway. Like a heartbeat, the trans brought life and energy to the community, connecting it to the larger world and laying the foundation for its future prosperity. And whenever the community here originally applied for the post office, they went with the name Richland. However, fate had a different plan. With the news that the name was already taken, J.C. Slaughter stepped forward with a stroke of inspiration. He suggested the name Prosper, a word that encapsulated the dreams and aspirations of the town's residents. And so that means in 1914, Prosper was officially incorporated at that point. Prosper started out with just 500 residents, and little did they know over the course of a century, Prosper would blossom into a thriving suburban community within the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, experiencing exponential growth and progress. So now we're heading into Star Trail, which is also one of the most popular neighborhoods in all of Prosper. And we're not gonna cover Winsong Ranch in this video again because we've done the most extensive vlog tour on Winsong Ranch, where if you wanna learn everything about that, check out that video. But as we turn in here, you see nice, beautiful landscaping throughout here. I like the patriotism here. They've got American flags lining the whole entryway as you come in. And you're gonna find homes priced from all different ranges from uh, low seven to eight hundreds up to uh, over a million dollars. You'll see we're coming up to the main uh, amenity center entrance right up here where they've got quite a bit happening over there and you'll see what really separates Star Trail from Winsong is a couple of really main cornfield. And you'll notice this is almost surrounded completely by cornfields as there's still a lot of room for development out here in Prosper. So it's growing rapidly, but there's still so much opportunity and room to be built out here there's going to be more and more communities and commercial space popping up every single day now you can see here in this neighborhood of course uh, these homes are and, and here we're pulling up on this property which is right at 819,000 for a four bedroom five bath with the square footage around 3014 square feet and it was built in 2020 and the square footage is right around $272 a square foot. So I would say that puts it a little bit on the higher end here in Prosper. But again, you're coming into a very established neighborhood. You can see uh, the tree growth around here a little bit more, but still on the younger side, you could say. But overall, it's a nice community. HOA is about $108 a month for those that want to know. And you're close access to everything you need in Prosper. Star Trail presents an exceptional living experience offering a range of amenities designed to enhance the residents' lifestyles. Residents can enjoy the refreshing pool, perfect for relaxation and leisure. The thoughtfully designed playground provides a safe and engaging space for children to play and explore. For the nature enthusiasts, the community features walking trails that zigzag throughout the surroundings, providing opportunities for peaceful strolls through the natural beauty. In terms of convenience, Star Trail enjoys a favorable location with proximity to various shopping, dining, and entertainment options. Residents can easily access a diverse range of retail establishments, restaurants, and cultural attractions. So now we're heading over into uh, some of the million dollar plus homes over here in the Star Trail area, and you'll see they've got quite a bit of 
new construction going on over here as well. So if you're looking for million dollar plus new construction, then you can find some options over here in Star Trail, which is what we're coming on right around this little curve as we turn around. It's a Highland home and you'll see here, it's a five bed, six and a half bath and there's a giant truck right in the way of it, but we'll still pull through there and see. You'll see other homes similar to it, but five, you know, five bed, six and a half bath, uh, right at 4,314 square feet. So that is uh, pretty nice over here. Uh, although you still have a little bit of construction going on, but that's never a bad thing, right? That just kind of helps improve values as things go on. But this is over on the back end, uh, kind of a little cutoff area. You've got some cul-de-sacs through here, a lot less traffic, which makes it a little bit nice, nicer and some bigger lots. And there you have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this full vlog tour of Prosper. And again, if you lived here or live here now, let us know what you like about Prosper. Let us know if we missed anything, maybe what you wanna see in the next video. And again, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, you know, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Happy to help you make that smooth move here to Dallas or the surrounding areas like Prosper. And until next time, well, we hope to show you around town.